Hello, minions, and welcome back to another Brutal Block Reacts with your host, a DJJC. That's right, here on the YouTube channel, we take songs and bands that were on the metal show on Super Cool Radio, and we dive a little bit deeper, and I give my opinion on why I think said band is awesome. The band we're going to do today is Stitched Up Part, and we're going to be looking at the song Possesses Me, and they were on episode 80 on Brutal Block on Super Cool Radio. So if you'd like to hear that episode, head over to Super Cool Radio, type in Brutal Block episode 80, and check out all the bands that were on that particular episode. So we're going to pull this one, and we're going to dive deep, and I'm going to give my opinion, and hopefully you guys like it. So without further ado, let's dive into Stitched Up Heart with their song, Possess Me. So right off the bat, the coloring and the way the look of the videos gives me a very like cyberpunk type vibe, which is kind of cool. I'm definitely loving the color combo here. It is a very high quality video for sure. And it just goes into a really nice and groovy. Uh, <laughs> Scratch against my skin as you leave a mark. The cut so The warm breath that lightly strokes my neck. So I've said this before in the past with female vocalists that I've covered, but one of the reasons why I like this band is again, I like when female vocalists take a more unique approach to their vocal style. I like the gritty, I like the raspy. This one is a little bit more seductive, and I can get behind that. I like that seductive sound. It does give it more of a pop vibe because of it, but I like that. And we'll get into that a little bit more, uh, my thoughts, when we get towards the chorus. There's a part of the chorus that really kind of sticks out to me. But I really, really like her way of having that seductiveness mixed with the growls that kind of come in in between. It's really cool. Again. As long as it's not the operatic stuff, I, I'm more than likely going to like a female fronted band. I'm, I'm just not a fan of the operatic stuff. It's 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 nothing personal. It's just my my preference. So the first time I heard this song, when I played them on Brutal Block, what really grabbed my interest in this band is this part right here. It basically sounds like, and, and I hope the band doesn't take this as a negative thing because this is a positive thing in, in my opinion, but this is very, if I mentioned earlier, pop, right? Like a pop metal. This gives me, if Katy Perry was in a metal band, this is what she would be doing. There's actually a lot of, um, excuse me, my allergies are crazy right now. There's a lot of um, videos on YouTube of people taking Katy Perry songs and making like metal versions of them, and they sound really cool. This band seems like the original version of that, of like, you know what, we're going to create some badass music, and we happen to have a vocalist that can sing really, really well. So this is, this is a, a, a female who probably could have done pop music and been very, very successful at it, but I'm glad she went the metal route because the music that her band makes mixed with her vocals is very unique, and I really dig it. So again, I hope they don't take that negatively, but to me, this is if Katy Perry had a metal band, this is what it would sound like. By the way, I love the hook. Yeah, she she has this very seductive yet confidence about her that makes this band visually awesome. It's very visually stimulating, if you will, because they're musically 
very heavy, but there's just something about her voice and the confidence that she has behind it that makes me want to keep listening to it. It's basically, it gives me like if on the metal side of things, if like Lacuna Coil and Ginger somehow blended with Katy Perry, this is what you'd get, which is, I don't know about you guys, but that's fucking awesome in, in my opinion. <laughs> Guys got coming now. Ooh, got dirty with it. See, what I love about bands like this, too, is bands like this allow me to allows people to who aren't typically metal fans to have something to to listen to that's easily digestible because it has it has that catchy hook. It's got singing in it. It's it's got that that quality that a lot of people that gravitate towards pop music look for. And then you hit them with shit like this. These crazy breakdowns, these heavy parts that a metalhead can appreciate. So I love that this is something that like, this is a band that I could, I could definitely show my kids who <laughs> are not the biggest metal heads right now. They're, they're more into, you know, the Disney stuff and, and that type of pop music. But if I show them something like this, because it has a catchy hook, because they're singing parts, because my daughter's really into singing right now, she would gravitate towards something like this. And then of course the heavy parts bring it, come in and it's like, it helps to kind of open that door a little bit, crack that window just, just slightly. So that metal flow can kind of come in and, and hit her in the face like a, a warm summer breeze and, and get her ready for the more chaotic, the more heavy. So I, I definitely appreciate bands like this. And I feel like bands like this definitely have a place in metal music. And I appreciate what they do and what they bring to the table. And again, I love her voice. I think she has a great voice and I love that she is doing not only singing, but screaming as well. And like I said, with the music itself, giving way for there to be a hook while also now displaying how heavy they can actually get. Very, very nice. So there you have it, guys. That was Stitched Up Heart with Possesses Me. I, 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 I love this track. It's very simplistic in its execution, but it's done very well. And I think that's what I like about this song. Again, this is a band that I wouldn't mind showing somebody who's not a big metal person, who's kind of maybe getting into it, who maybe likes more of the mainstream metal stuff kind of be like oh you listen to metal and then they name like mainstream metal bands and you're like oh okay this is something that i would ease them into to try to get them into the more heavy stuff 
kind of reminds me of like I know I mentioned them a lot, but like Dillinger had a, had a habit of doing that. They had a lot of really chaotic stuff, and then they wrote some like radio stuff to just kind of show that hey, we can do that too. So I'm definitely interested in diving deeper into this band because they gave you just a little taste in this song of how heavy they can get, but they can also write very catchy, simplistic riffs, which in reality are actually a lot harder to do. Um, some people may argue that with me, but I, I really like when a band can take something simple and catchy and just make a good song. For me, that's very difficult. I listen to a lot of complex stuff, so it's kind of in my DNA to write weird riffs. But to try to sit back and write something, a very simplistic riff and do actual songwriting, it's it's a it's definitely a, a good technique to have. And I think this band has it. And I'm definitely interested to see if this band goes down a more complex route with some of their stuff, because you do have a vocalist who is very talented, who seems like she could do multiple things so i'm very interested to see what kind of experimental stuff this band is going to do if they have done it or if they are thinking about going down that route i'm definitely interested in seeing that because like i said she can not only sing but she can scream really well and she has this seduction kind of bit about her that i really really love it's it's very confident and it's it's different from the other female bands that i typically listen to you know, Ginger's one of the top, I think, right now. And then, like I said, Lacuna Coil's been in the game for years. So to see this type of sound coming from her with a little bit of pop, with a little bit of metal, I'm all for that, man. And I wish this band the best. I, I, like I said, I'm definitely going to keep them on my radar and continue to follow them and see what other stuff they have. I'm interested in diving down into their discography myself. So if you like this band, go check them out. Go follow them on their socials. I'll have a link to the original video down in the description. Go give them some love and let them know that DJ JC from the Brutal Block sent you. And let's get these guys to pop into the algorithm. And they deserve it. I think they write really killer music. Let me know down in the comments. What did you think of the band? Was I close? Was I way off? Do you have a different opinion about this band than I do? I'd love to hear it down in the comments. But let's try to keep it positive. And if you're going to give criticism, please give creative criticism don't just say it sucks or that it's bad or anything like that i don't like that type of negativity i'm not going to feed into that energy uh, but I, I i know bands most bands appreciate creative criticism so if you got some by all means leave it down in the comments i gave my opinion on this band and i'm excited to see what else they're going to bring to the table and uh yeah share this video like this video comment on this video subscribe for more i am having more content come out I've been having a lot of crazy stuff happen in my personal life here in the past couple of weeks, but I'm trying to get back on the ball and release some more of these out for you guys. As always, Brutal Block has new radio show episodes every Tuesday at noon on Super Cool Radio. So if you'd like to check that out, head on over to Super Cool Radio on any major streaming platform service that of your choice, the one that you prefer to listen to. I typically push Bop push Spotify, but if you have something else, we are on all platforms. So type in Super Cool Radio or just type in Brutal Block and a particular episode. Like I said, this one we had on episode 80, we had Stitched Apart on there. So if you want to check out the other bands that were on that particular episode, then just type in Brutal Block or Super Cool Radio, but Brutal Block episode 80, and it should pop up. As always, th thank you for tuning in. I do have some more videos in the pipeline on the way, so look out for that. I have some other cool stuff that I will be announcing later in the year. So if you'd like to stay on all of that, then please, again, subscribe to the channel. If you have a Facebook page and you would like to join our community, you can type in Brutal Block hosted by DJJC and join our page. And that is one of the best ways to get a hold of me if you're in a band and want me to play your music on the show, react to it here. That's one of the quickest ways to get a hold of me. Or you can email me at brutalblock at gmail.com. That's brutalblock at gmail.com. And you can send me a WAV file, an MP3 file. You can send me a YouTube link. And then just give me some info about your band, tour dates, if you have an album coming out, if it's a new single, what have you. Just let me know and I will make sure to get it on the show. Just understand that we do work on a queue system. So if you don't hear your music right away, please be patient with me. And if it's been a while, you can always hit me up again and ask, hey man, what's going on? And I'll let you know. Because sometimes I get crazy, crazy amounts of stuff and I'm just playing catch up. So just understand that, bear with me. 
I want to check out as many bands as possible. And I love the fact that bands are finally starting to send their music in to the show. It warms my heart and I'm loving all this music that are tickling my eardrums. <laughs> but anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a safe weekend. And until next time, you guys take care. I'm out.